integrals for the following. Uh, so we already hinted at what we should probably use to make this easy. So u should be set to the square root of x here. So what's going to happen is, um, all right, so u is equal to that. So du is going to be equal to 1 half, because that's the same thing as a square root of x, or is the same thing as, as x raised to 1 half, x raised to the negative 1 half, which is the same thing as 1 over the square root of x. So the only thing we're missing here is um, we need to multiply, to get du equal to dx, we need to multiply um, du by 2. So 2 integrate sine of um, square root of u, or u raised to 1 half. I'll just put the square root. Square root. Actually, you know what? It's just u because it's set to the square root du. And then um, when we integrate this, we get 2 sine of u plus c. Substitute back in. We end up with, um, I'm sorry, the integral of sine of u, I, I apologize, is negative cosine of u plus c. So sub back in, we have negative 2 cosine of the square root of x plus c. So that's it for part A. What about part B? So we're again, we're hinted here. So du is going to be equal to 8x. So we're left with 3 here. So how do we get that working? So to get du equal to dx, we need to multiply by 3 eighths. So multiply by 3 eighths. Put that out in front, and we're left with u on the bottom here raised to the negative 1 half. Same thing as 1 over the square root of u. du, when we integrate, we get 3 eighths um, u raised to the negative 1 half plus 1, 1 half, and then um, negative 1 half plus 1 on the bottom. So this ends up being 6 over 8. 6 over 8, which is 3 fourths. Sub back in for u, and we get um, the square root of 4x squared plus 5 plus c. I mean, if you want, you can put the 4 in the denominator here completely. So, And that's it. That's the final solution for part b and then part a. Alrighty, I hope this helped you out. I appreciate you watching the video, and you have yourself a great day.